you know, uh, a big star in the dressing room. That's maybe the reason why he doesn't want Ronaldo. But it cannot be for me that the fact Ronaldo is going to be the, the focus of the player because really it's what Lukaku should have been last season and hasn't been. Yes, of course, you have to find room for others, but Nat Sterling is, is here. You will have to wonder what you're going to do with Werner, with Pulisic uh, and maybe some others. But uh, for me, if you have the possibility and you can afford Ronaldo, that would be a mistake uh, and uh, the big one to not getting in. Don? I don't agree. I think if you look where Man United were last season, you look at Ronaldo's goals. Yes, he got the goals, but they didn't even win a trophy. They didn't even get top four. So it's, it's what does he bring? Does he bring longevity? Does he bring... Does he bring goals? Yes, of course he does, because that's what so he's done, chasing. Sorry, sorry to cut you off very quickly, but are you are well, saying that if Ronaldo, if uh, Manchester United didn't get any silverware last season, it's because of Ronaldo or it's because of the rest of the players? No, I think it's a little bit of both. I think Ronaldo had done his job, certainly. He'd done his job. He, he, scored, he scored the goals. But you go back to the game where he was allegedly going to be dropped for the Man City game. He didn't take it very well. He didn't even, didn't even join up with the squad. I think he was his back or a... I think he threw an injury in that we all knew wasn't quite true, or allegedly. So there's going to be games where if you're going to sacrifice Ronaldo, how does he take it? If there's a That's... game that Chelsea, if there's a game that Chelsea want to win in a certain style, and they're playing against the Man City or Liverpool, and Thomas Tuchel doesn't want to play Ronaldo in this one particular game or a couple of particular games, his ego is not going to be the ego that wants to be dropped, Frank. So that's why I said loosely is a problem because he's he scores the goals, but he's, he's, he doesn't guarantee you what you want. From the rest of it, he doesn't, he, doesn't, he doesn't provide intensity when he's closing them down. He doesn't close down from the front. He doesn't chase back. Yes, he gets goals. I get that if people are shouting at the screen. But I think if, you're, I think if you're, you're the top five teams in the Premier League, I think secretly you might be happy that he stays at Man United because he might be slowing them down a little bit. Yes, it's the players that are not up to his standards, that's for sure. But how long does it take the rest of the players to get up to Ronaldo's standards? As Craig said, Thomas Tuchel might not even be given that time. So I just don't see it working for any of the top fives. I get what he does, but at 37 going into 38, I don't think he fits the modern-day team anymore or, or, or what you want for success and trophies. Chelsea, though. Get, go, on, go on, Frank. I know, the thing is, uh, I, I, I hear what you say, and it's why I go back to what I think is the real um, uh, excuse for Tuchel to not getting uh, uh, Ronaldo to Chelsea is because... He doesn't know what will, what his reaction is going to be if he's not picking him up, you know, uh, putting in the uh, first eleven. What's going to happen in the dressing room? I think he had, he went through that experience with Neymar uh, per se, uh, so it can be a problem. But um, again, I think if uh, I think Ronaldo is maybe the only light that they had through the season for Manchester United because he scored goal and uh, allowed them to. Uh, hope for something at the end of the season because that's mostly the rest of the team who uh, didn't do well more than Ronaldo for me. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube and for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app and for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.